Hi everyone, thank you for joining us today for our webinar. My name is Tori and I'm from the House Pro marketing team here at House. For today's session, I'll be discussing ways that home renovation professionals like you can increase productivity to generate more revenue. Just a little housekeeping before we begin, this webinar is pre-recorded. You can listen whenever it works for you and come back to it as many times as you'd like. If you have any questions, please send them to ukprocommunity@house.com and we will get back to you as quickly as possible. Like many independent or small business owners, you probably wear many hats, or maybe even all the hats within your company. This often means dividing your time between your craft and other administrative or business operations. While all of those day-to-day -day projects are essential to keep a business running, they also take up valuable time that you could be using on other projects, projects that generate revenue. In this webinar, we will share our tips for finding creative ways to be more productive so that you can spend time focusing on the jobs you enjoy the most or that generate the most revenue. First, we'll discuss how to save time working with clients. Then we'll suggest ways to streamline business tasks. And last, we'll walk you through how to calculate the value of your time. Our first section focuses on how to make client interactions the most efficient. Having a consistent lead screening process when handling new inquiries can help you identify only those clients that fit your ideal client profile. When calls come in, use a questionnaire to determine the project's scope, location, budget, timeline, and the potential client's expectations. The questions in your questionnaire will vary based on the type of projects you do, how many projects you're looking to take on, and your working style. But in general, you'll want to ask questions that introduce yourself and identify the source of the incoming lead, gather contact information for the lead, confirm their project needs and scope, identify the next set, steps and set expectations. This will help to ensure the client is serious before you invest too much time or energy. Doing an initial screening over the phone can save yourself from spending time on the road and meeting with a prospective client who you're not interested in working with. House Pro also offers a video call feature now and meeting schedule for our paying pros. If you're interested in hearing more about this, please feel free to get in touch. We've created an ideal client profile worksheet to help you find the perfect client. You can download this guide, a link is included in the description and in the email you received for this webinar. Tim Cleary of Charles Ross Holmes know, knows what works for them and doesn't spend time on projects that are the wrong fit. He says, not every client or project is right for us, nor are we right for every client or project. Declining projects that aren't the right fit frees up time to work on projects that are, projects that you're good at and that you can earn a reasonable profit from and that produce happy clients who promote you to their friends. We know it can be scary to turn down business, but declining gracefully could save you time in the long run and open up your schedule to focus on your core competencies. Many pros start idea books with their clients and encourage them to save photos of their research on them using the House website. Doing this can help you get on the same page with your clients quickly. When clients share visuals of what they like, you can understand their desired outcomes for their projects, even if they can't verbalize the exact style or look that they want. Not only can idea books be used remotely, but whenever is convenient for each of you. This can help eliminate the need to collaborate on a project at the same time and in the same place and save you unnecessary back and forth so you can spend more time doing the work you're trained to do. McAdams Remodeling and Design has implemented the usage of idea books into their client process and noticed a reduction in the time spent. They said, without idea books, clients would have a hard time describing what they wanted. We would generate a rough sketch and then refine based on the feedback. This process could take weeks. Now using idea books, clients can pinpoint features or images that they like, and we can discern likes and dislikes to more easily draft a design that is to our client's liking. Another great way to collaborate is with mood boards, specifically for our interior designers listening in. This is a very simple and useful tool to use. With our feature-rich mood boards, you can upload imagery, set desired colors, add text, and use our powerful background removal tool to silhouette any product photo. You can, then send, you can then send the mood board directly to your clients to show them your ideas and plans for their projects. Setting up an efficient communication system can help you close deals and get in contact with clients, suppliers, or fellow home improvement professionals. Creating email templates, form letters that can be used over and over for common situations can save you time from writing out the same letter multiple times. 
Keep all of your templates in a document on your computer or saved within your email program and copy and paste as needed. Consider writing email templates for the following situations. Responding to new inquiries, instructions on how to set up a house idea book and guidelines, a follow-up template if a client misses an email you sent to them, responses to any frequently asked questions you receive, sending over your contract for signature, requesting to handle the conversation over the phone, updating clients with a project milestone, requesting a payment installment, requesting, requesting a client review, or scheduling a photo shoot. Responding to new business inquiries within one hour increases your chances of having a meaningful conversation with the decision maker by seven times. Using email templates, you can more easily fire off an e a response and get in touch with the leader faster. However, we know it's not always realistic to respond in detail right away. Setting up automatic responses to emails or inquiries that come in after hours. It will satisfy the potential client's need to know that their message was received while giving you time to wrap up what you're doing. Bridget McMullen of the McMullen Design Group says, when a potential client fills out the interest form on our website, we have an automatic email response that says we will get back to them within 48 hours, which accounts for weekends and when we are on the road. We get 75% of our new client contacts this way, and the automatic response gives us some breathing room to schedule the initial consult call where we can most effectively sell our services. This brings us to our next section, streamline business tasks. First, let's talk about how, to, how delegating can streamline your workload. If you're not quite ready to hire someone on staff, enlisting other professionals to provide services that aren't your primary skill set can help free you up to focus on your areas of expertise. Keep a directory of pros who you've met or worked with in the past so you can reach out to them in a pinch. Hiring them on as a freelance basis is a low commitment way to bring them on board and save you time. You could also delegate tasks to an outside sourcing provider. Depending on the service and provider, some of these services can be very affordable and the time saved well worth the cost. Here are some suggestions for tasks you could delegate. Bookkeeping and or taxes, advertising, website creation and maintenance, social media, planning meetings, drafting, 3D rendering, product sourcing, and answering the phone. With House Pro and its new features and easy to use tools, you can also do most of these activities on one platform. Advertising, website design, planning meetings, drafting, 3D rendering, and product sources. sourcing. In one solution, you'll be able to streamline your business tasks very easily. If you'd like to know more about how Pro can help with these tasks, please do get in touch with us at ukprocommunity at house.com. We'll include this email address at the end of the webinar, and it's also the email in the email that the webinar came from, so you can simply reply there. William Rosado of Rosado Art and Architecture says, for the last 20 years, I have used freelance draftsmen when I get overloaded and need help meeting a deadline. I do the designs, but they can create the plans. Freelancers carry out the pragmatic stuff I don't have time for, so I can work with other pros involved on a project and manage my business. Dwayne Drofton of landscape design firm BizX Design Studios has also found delegating tasks to be beneficial for his business. He says, I started delegating because I would get frustrated that I would have to drop my design work to handle smaller issues. Now that I'm delegating, I can handle marketing, sales, and design creativity. We can take on more projects when I delegate. Before, when I was handling everything myself, the company could only take on one or two projects at a time. By delegating tasks, we can take on three or four projects at a time now. Finding ways to accomplish necessary tasks faster can enable you to get more done in the day. Whether you set a schedule to keep yourself focused on specific tasks or patronize the same suppliers, find a system that works for you and stick to it. House Pro can help you with this. You can share project timelines and daily logs in a client dashboard showing key milestones and phases to help clients better visualize progression, and now you can even do video consultations. Celeste Jackson of Celeste Jackson Interiors says, I dedicate time on my daily schedule for emails. At the beginning of the day, I determine what is urgent enough to answer right away and what can wait until the end of the day. Now I'm not spending all day trying to dwindle my inbox down. Andrea Lynn Ordoff of A. Lynn Design says, I have a weekly schedule to help keep me efficient. Mondays are for admin work. Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays are for client work. And Fridays are open so I can schedule as needed. I often ask myself if I need an assistant, but continue to hold off on hiring. First, 
I ask myself whether I can simplify and streamline my systems so I have more tasks automated. If the answer is yes, then I find the time to invest in better systems and become a more efficient rather than hiring. I have automated client billing, the design process, ordering items, and paying bills. As we mentioned, Hasbro can help with a lot of these tasks as well, such as creating quotes and estimates, sending through payment requests, managing what payments have come through, and making change orders. As an interior designer, you can even create visuals to send to clients, as well as keeping a product library on your profile. Finding tools or services that can help you manage your online presence is one way to save time and avoid headaches. To have an effective website, it must be constant, consistently updated and be SEO friendly. SEO meaning search engine optimized. It must be also mobile friendly and secured with secure socket layer technology, which is known as SSL. However, best practices for maintaining all of those features change all the time, and making sure your website checks all of those boxes all the time can be very time consuming and techy. House Pro provides SEO optimized, mobile ready, and secure website planning templates and hosting so that you can maintain your digital presence easily. It will pull content like photos and reviews directly from your house profile so your information and branding is consistent. Now for our third section, let's calculate the value of your time. To know what your time is truly worth, you'll need to do some math, but don't worry, we'll walk you through it. Grab a calculator and get ready to crunch some numbers. At the end of this exercise, you'll be able to identify how much your time is worth. First, we'll calculate the amount of revenue you bring into your business for the year. How much revenue did you generate last year? Let's estimate the total time you spent working last year. How many total hours did you work? If you need to estimate, a 40-hour work week throughout the year is 2,080 hours. Divide the total pounds by the total hours worked to find out your revenue generated per hour with the box within this box. Now you know the total revenue generated per hour worked. It's good to know your revenue per hour, but it doesn't quite tell you what your time is worth. Chances are some of the hours you worked were sucked up by administrative tasks or other typical office duties, things that others who do not have your home remodeling and design expertise could be doing. A more accurate way to determine what your time is worth is to look at your revenue generated per billable hour. A billable hour is the time you spent doing the things that only you can do, like working with clients, creating renderings, or choosing furniture or materials. Look through your work logs and invoices to see how much time you spent on doing tasks only you could do, or estimate if you didn't keep track. How many hours did you spend on those tasks? Now take the total amount of revenue you generated last year and divide it by the bill number of billable hours to see your revenue generated per billable hour. Chances are your revenue generated per billable hour is higher than your revenue generated per hour. This is because you're spending time doing tasks that you're not getting paid for, like working on your website or making sure the books are balanced. The next step is to find out how much time you're spending on tasks that could be delegated. Take the total amount of hours you worked last year and subtract your total billable hours. Now with that difference, consider, would that be enough time to take on additional design or renovation projects? Here are a few steps you can take immediately to get the value of your time as a skilled professional. First, identify the tasks you can delegate. Second, find services or tools to handle those tasks. And last, use the extra time to take on more projects. The number of hours you spent working on things that could have been delegated represents time you could be using to generate more revenue if you were to spend that time on billable tasks. Let's find out how much. Take the total number of hours you spent working on tasks that could be delegated and multiply that by your revenue generated per billable hour. That result will show you your theoretical potential additional earnings each year if you're able to find enough work to fill that time. Depending on your rate and how many hours you could be outsourcing, you may have a substantial amount of potential additional earnings, or it may be a smaller sum. But now, hopefully you're armed with more information. To help you calculate the value of your time, we have created a handout so you can download this in the link of the description of the, we the webinar and in the email you received for this webinar. While delegating jobs can certainly free up your schedule, keep in mind that this was simply an exercise to help you visualize what's possible in terms of optimizing your time. Before you outsource a project or a task to a service or employee, ask yourself the following questions. Will I be able to work as many hours as I delegate or will I need to account for time training or managing? 
if I outsource the task, will the cost of the service or employee to do the task be worth it? Or would I realistically be able to take on more work with my freed up hours? If you're interested in learning more, you can send an email to ukprocommunity@house.com, and we'll make sure to get you connected with someone from our team. Also, we would love to get your feedback on this webinar topic and presentation. Let us know if you found it useful and if it offered you information that you can apply to your business. And if there are any other topics you'd like to suggest, please feel free to email us at int-marketing at house.com. We'd love to hear your feedback. That's all for today. Thank you again so much for joining us and we look forward to seeing you at our next webinar.